lemon water. Hey guys and welcome back to Cutie Fish. So today I'm doing a video about how to grow your hair long because I think my hair's quite long. I'd say it goes a couple of inches past my belly button maybe. Today I am getting it chopped. Not really short, just like it's just getting a trim. Um, maybe a bit more than a trim, I'm not sure yet. So I thought I'd film a video now about growing your hair long so you could see me with long hair. The reason I'm filming this is because when I had horrible, damaged, I'm not going to say short, but like maybe like here, hair, um, I hated it. It was like one of the things I was most self-conscious about is one of my braces. I hated my appearance, <laughs> but my hair, I absolutely hated it. And the amount of videos I used to watch being like, and I'd like, like Google search on like YouTube being like, how do I get long hair? How do I grow my hair fast? Blah, 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 blah. So I thought I'd make a video like this and try and not say really like generic tips because a lot of them said exactly the same thing. So, and some of those tips are really useful, so I will rush through those ones and then go on to some of my own tips that I have sort of learned and tell you about a few products I used. Um, however, I didn't use that many products to grow my hair really. A bit of background, basically, I had my, I dyed my hair myself, like bleached blonde, but it was more of like bleached orange, which really damaged the bottom of my hair, um, and it was quite short, and I really didn't like it. I'll try and insert some pictures as I go along, so here's one of me with horrible hair. Let me do like a hair story video where I show you the progression of my hair since I was like a little kid when I used to have plaits up to the side like this. Um, then I will do a video like that. So those are just a few photos of what my hair used to be like. And this is where I've gotten it to today. My belly looked so awful in that shot. Ugh. So some of these tips aren't really about growing your hair. They're about making sure your hair's healthy, which will in turn make it seem like it's growing faster because you'll get less split ends. And if you get split ends and it spits up your hair, like that's kind of in the name, and makes it look shorter because it's just not gaining length because it just keeps spitting off and breaking off. Um, so sometimes rather than thinking, I need to grow my hair, Think about how you need to get your hair healthier because at the minute mine, oh my god, it feels so soft and the ends of it don't look really split, I don't think. Oh my god, I feel so ill. First tip, as you've just seen, I'm drinking water, is to drink a lot of water, which is one of the generic ones I'm talking about. Everybody says this for everything. If you want clear skin, drink water. If you want to, I don't know, lose weight, drink water. And if you want to grow your hair, drink water because your body is made up of, what's the statistic? I can't remember, but it's a lot of water. Um, so your cells all need water to keep working. And just drink water. Like, I know that's a lot of people's New Year's resolutions, but I've never really had much trouble with it because I do enjoy drinking water. Especially when I chop up lemons and put them in there because I just think it tastes lush. Um, which also has benefits for you in some way, I'm sure. Next tip is don't wash your hair too much. Now, I know some people like to wash their hair every day or every other day but I wash my hair two or three times a week depending on whether I work out so if I was washing it two times a week I'd wash it on a Sunday night and then a Wednesday night um because that's as like central as you can get um and like, I, I never really have any problems with getting my hair too greasy but if it does get a bit eh, um it's usually on Sunday when I don't see anybody so it doesn't really matter or um, if it is on a school day for some reason or a day where I'm going out, I will um, put dry shampoo in my hair um, and then plait it in like two French plaits or just plait in two French plaits anyway. Now everybody, if they see me at school with French plaits, are gonna be like, well, I know your hair's greasy. Um, it's not always because my hair's bad. Sometimes I do want to do plaits, okay? <laughs> Don't wash your hair too much. Um, and when you do wash it, I'm pretty sure this is something like most people do anyway, but make sure you shampoo at the roots and I always give myself a bit of a head massage, which I saw in one video when I was like researching how to grow your hair and I've just done it ever since because I just like like standing in the shower or sitting in the bath just going like this, even though you feel like an idiot, I just like it. Um, and then, oh my god, <laughs> and then condition like the bottom bits here because if you condition up here it'll get it'll get greasier faster, but if you condition down here, these are the bits that get drier um, and they need some extra TLC. The I use for washing my hair, I tend to jump around with what conditioner and shampoo I use, um, usually it's just what my mum's bought, but my the only shampoo and conditioner that I've ever like loved, 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 loved is the, I think it's Garnier Fibrology, 
Um, if I say that wrong, I'll like put it somewhere and I will link it down below because oh my god, it's like I think it's for thickening your hair and it made my hair feel so much thicker but then also stronger and healthier, which again I feel like made it grow faster. Um, and then I also got the hair mask of that, I think, um, which I'd put on maybe once a week, which just gave my hair so much life. I haven't used it in a while actually, but I would 100% 10 out of 10 recommend that so much. And then I also used a product that um, Gabby Velvet Ghost talks about a lot, and that is um, the Lee Stafford like part like this, it's called for hair that never goes past a certain length. Um, and I used to just put that all over my hair again, like hair mask. Um, maybe once a week or once every two weeks and I think that genuinely did make my hair grow but the other thing that people always say is you should get regular haircuts now I understand why um, although some people have got weird theories and I don't think they're true but whatever um, because if you, again like I'm saying if you get loads of split ends and they split up your hair won't look like it's growing even if it's growing from the roots however I haven't had a haircut in like Maybe like a year, I don't know, I can't remember the last time I had a haircut, and I haven't one today, but like, I don't get regular haircuts, but my hair isn't really split, so I feel like, rather than just being like, everybody has to get a haircut every six weeks, like, look at your hair, and if you don't think it needs a haircut, then don't get a haircut, because then you're just getting unnecessary length taken off, but if your ends are really, really split, then get a haircut before they have time to split up, and then let it grow, and it'll be healthier on the ends. Um, so it'll look like it's growing faster, but I don't, I don't, I don't think you need to get regular haircuts unless you need to get regular haircuts, if you know what I'm saying. The tip is, don't, okay, I don't know, some people might disagree with this, um, so I'm just going to say what I do. I don't brush my hair. Um, whoa! <laughs> I feel like a lot of people will be so confused by that because they, like, are constantly brushing their hair, but... I feel like if I brush my hair, I don't stop messing with my hair, but if I brush my hair, I feel like it's just like you're ripping through it and I just don't think you need to. Like, I don't brush my hair. Does it look horrible and like a rat's nest? I don't think so. I just comb it with my fingers like this and look, it goes through like fine. It's not really like knotty or anything. And you might say, yeah, but my hair's really thick. My hair gets really knotty. I have really quite thick hair and my hair used to get so knotty, but, um... I just, because I finger comb it so much, and um, not so much, I don't sit there doing this because that makes it go greasy, but, um, um, and because of how I style my hair, it just doesn't get knotty, so that's not an excuse. Just try it for like a week, not brushing your hair, just combing it through your fingers. I can't remember the last time I used a brush to brush through my hair, that like terrifies me now. Um, and my hair's fine, and I think that has made it grow faster because I've been like ripping through it, like, oh my god, I'm late for school, I need to brush my hair. Um, so yeah, maybe try that, try not brushing your hair so much. Um, and another thing about damage is obviously, we all know heat is bad for your hair. Like. You don't have to be told that, you don't have to have heard it before, it's obvious, you're putting hot stuff like on your hair, like that's not going to be good, if you put hot stuff on your skin you're going to burn yourself and that is what you're doing to your hair. Um, but I did used to straighten my hair most days, um, which I obviously don't know anymore, but um, I've been there when you feel like your hair only looks good if you've put a ton of heat on it, but it is not true. This, these curls, my hair isn't naturally curly. I get that question a lot. Is your hair naturally like that? No. Um, I don't actually know what my hair is naturally like, like what it would be like if I washed it and then just let it dry, because I never do that. Um, it's just kind of, it's not straight and it's not curly, it's just kind of in the middle, like meh. Um, but I made a video on how I do my hair, like maybe a year ago, and my hair looked horrible then, um, and the video's awful, I don't even know if it's still on public, but what I do, I call them hashtag cutiefish no heat curls, but I'm sure other people have done this before and I didn't invent it, but I kind of discovered it when I was trying to do something else that didn't work. So basically, I'm not going to make a separate video on, on it, I'm going to quickly explain it now. So how I do my cutiefish no heat curls, like these, I didn't use any heat, these curls, are just like natural, um, but they're not natural, I don't know how to explain that, but basically I wash my hair at night, um, to do this you have to like wash your hair at night, you can't do it in the morning, immediately before you go to bed, because else it'll just like fall out, not <laughs> all your hair will fall out, if you wash your hair before you go to bed you'll wake up and have no hair. So I wash my hair maybe a few hours before I go to bed, and then as soon as it's like, um, 
I'm like dressed like in my pyjamas or whatever, I start, I split my hair as equally as I can into two sections and then twist it round like this and then just keep retwisting it. Like I'll go watch TV with my sister um, for like an hour or so and then just keep twisting my hair. Sometimes I just hold it like this, sometimes I just keep twisting it and playing with it and it just becomes like natural and then um, when I go to sleep, I just like sleep with it like this, not tied or anything, um, which is why you've got to do it at an hour, at least an hour before you go to bed, I'd say, because I'll, if it's really wet, it will just like f like fall out of the twists. But if you've already let it dry quite a bit twisting, it just stays in the twists all night. Obviously, everybody's hair's different, and I'd say if your hair isn't past a certain length, the twists don't stay in. Like, um, some people that I know have tried it and their hair's just too short or too thin or like, because everybody has everybody ha everybody's hair is different but some of my friends um do do it and it works so just try it um if your hair's like long enough i don't know maybe like here I, I i'm not sure the longer your hair is the looser the ringlets are because it pulls them down but that's if it's the same if you curl your hair so like the proper curls is not um it's not like when you plait your hair and it's just kind of like waves like if you twist your hair like this and sleep with it it is proper curls however there are so many no heat um curls that you can do overnight and i if this doesn't work i recommend trying them so obviously doing like french plaits just doing normal plaits doing fishtail plaits um there's loads of different methods but i just find this works for me because it's the least effort you literally just have to twist your hair and i love the results because the amount of people that ask me like oh have you curled your hair like oh my god is your hair naturally like that and i'm just like hashtag cutie fish no heat curls don't use heat i do use heat i i, I have to be honest on these front bits here because else it's just it doesn't feel like the look's finished it feels like really messy and i'd like to not have to do that but i just don't like my hair when i haven't straightened these front bits but i think everything's okay in moderation so if I'm not going out I won't like straighten them unnecessarily um and I I just feel like it's not as bad because I'm not doing it to the whole of my hair I'm a bit of a hypocrite but um maybe if you are going to straighten front bits like this get them trimmed more often um or just like give them a little bit of a trim yourself make sure you're using proper scissors no not, though not just kitchen scissors because they will damage your hair um give them a bit of a trim yourself and it won't be that bad so don't be like no heat ever like a little bit of heat occasionally is okay i will say um and maybe find other hairstyles if your hair is a bit of a mess um and you'd naturally just go straighten it straighten it straighten it find something else you can do like i i would put my hair in plaits then or just put in like a burn or something like find things you can do that don't use heat but make sure they're not pulling your hair really tight because that will also like damage your hair like around the front um and make it sort of like break ah um so try not to do that so i think the main thing about healthy hair is that it comes from within <laughs> i cringe i say some weird stuff sometimes but it is true um your hair is a part of your body or it's coming out of your body um which means if your body isn't well nourished um then your hair won't be healthy and glowing and soft and luscious um because it, it needs nutrients to be strong um, and I can't remember what exact nutrients it needs which is quite bad but make sure you're having a well balanced diet getting all your vitamins and minerals in because that is what makes your hair healthy if you eat too much junk your hair will not be good because it will not be happy with what you're putting into it and if you don't eat enough um, so you don't get enough nutrients and enough food and you're malnourished then your hair will go a lot thinner and it will start like falling out because it'll be like thinning and it'll be breaking on the ends and that's that's not good so make sure you're eating a well balanced diet and you're eating enough um to nourish your hair because that's how you get healthy hair and you get good skin like what's not to like when people are like oh i don't want to eat healthily dude you get clear skin and healthy hair if that's not reason to eat healthily, I don't know what is. So in summary, make sure you drink lots of water, eat a healthy, well-balanced diet, um, which doesn't mean you can't have a few treats every now and then because I'm a chocoholic. Um, don't wash your hair too much. Try not, brush not brushing your hair. Do not use heat. Try cutie fish no heat curls and other styling methods that don't involve heat. Um, and then there'll be also some products linked below that I haven't um 
that I've mentioned and things that maybe I've forgotten because I didn't really plan this video. I'm so bad. Somebody said to me, they were like, you seem like you're acting in your videos because you've like scripted them. I've never scripted a video in my life. I just say what I think and what comes into my head. So you're wrong. <laughs> That was so sassy, you're wrong. So if you've got any questions about my hair or you'd like to see a hair story, I guess, video, I don't know if anybody would like to see that, down, um, then comment down below. Also thumbs up this video if you enjoyed it. And if you try out Cutie Fish No Heat Curls, then please post a picture of it on Instagram or Twitter or something and do the hashtag Cutie Fish No Heat Curls because if, imagine if somebody hashtagged that, I would get so excited. <laughs> and tag me in it. My Instagram is at I'm Cutie Fish, obviously without a apostrophe in the I'm because somebody took Cutie Fish. And the same for my Twitter. Who else would call their username Cutie Fish? I don't understand. I am the one and only Cutie Fish. <laughs> so I'm going to go now and get my hair cut. How exciting. I love you lots like jelly tots bye <laughs> that'll make a really good like intro imagine just me in the like in the sun like uh, like i'm in like a l'oreal advert like uh, and then i'll get out my like yogurt and go like no no okay i'm 